Let me ask you this though, Jerry, uh, um, as you're talking about that, you know, we, it, it's not every industry captain that, that's willing to, to, to author the words poverty, that's really even willing to use poverty in a sentence. Uh, given where you sit in the city right now and the, the influence that you have as a major industry leader, uh, do you see an obligation here on the part of the corporate community, major corporate leaders, to move from what I call the safe zones of comfort? You know, you know, uh, in terms of uh, not being willing to move beyond the confines of their office, the C-suite, and the boardroom, and they are only interested in dealing with the bottom line. And certainly, you know, a conversation of this nature doesn't mean much to them. Do you feel that we're at a point right now in the city where Corporate leaders, uh, you know, others, your other colleagues in the boardroom ought to see it as an obligation and, and move beyond those safe zones to confront the issue of inequality. I believe that we're all in on creating, uh, on dealing with poverty in our communities. You know, approximately 400,000 of our customers uh, live below the federal poverty um, guidelines. And so we're here to serve all customers. 400,000. 400,000 across the entire state. And uh, the greatest concentration, as you mentioned, is in Detroit. But, you know, if you go out to communities like Alpena and Tawas and other areas of the UP, there is tremendous poverty in this state. And we're obligated and we feel that it is a noble cause to serve the poor. Um, we view it as a privilege, not a burden, to serve the poor. And we will bring all that we can, all our resources and abilities to serve the poor. And I think we've demonstrated that over and over by, one, working on affordable products, but also like I said, creating employment because employment, I believe, is the grease of life where everything starts to work well. When you have a job, you have income, you can raise a family, and you can have a really good life. And we're in pursuit of that, uh, to create that for our, our customers who are in poverty. And it's one person at a time and uh, one community at a time. And so we're invested heavily, frankly. We feel committed uh, to creating uh, access uh, for people in poverty. And I can talk a little more about access if you 